Terry, I'm, I'm not sure what to, to, to say after that one. A, a game you've lost that you probably should have won. <laughs> I think it's Groundhog Day. I think I've been saying this uh, quite a lot, but I just spoke to the players. They were they were bitterly disappointed because they gave everything. I thought first half again, we come out the traps flying. We was we was outstanding. Um, the play that we had leading up, we, we really sort of penned them into the half. We had numerous corners early on, and then when James Hayter um, gets us the penalty. You think, right, this is going to settle us down. Uh, most experienced player steps up, but in the situation that we're in, goalkeeper to be fair, makes a good save. But how many penalties is that we've missed in recent times? I think that's two or three now. So you don't take that advantage. Then um, the major incident that I'm really disappointed with is that Gozi Ugru was brought down for a penalty, which was four or five minutes later, which we've seen on the, on the footage that was a stonewall penalty, um, body contact, and he's gone down. We don't get given that, and uh, sure as anything, I wouldn't let James Hayter have taken the second one. Um, and then we have, after that, we have still chances. You know, we, we had so many corners, and with the wind going down, every time you turn them, there was opportunities to, to get corners, and I thought the delivery was good. Stephen Arthur Worry, free header on the edge of the six yard box, heads it over. Then we get into half time, we say to them, right, now we're going to come out. The pattern of what's been happening with us conceding two goals in little spaces of time. Uh, make sure that we go and play into their half, turn them and um, and let the game develop from there. It doesn't quite happen like that and then you know the mistakes for the goals were pretty evident. It starts from our throwing, um, gets set back, they put one in behind us and get a corner and then it's you know and it's it seems to be individuals that are, I think it was I'm not sure who it was it slipped on the far stick. And then the, the second one with the clearance, then it looks a little bit farcical where he's trying to clear the ball. I think we had two or three. But when you're down there, that's what happens. But the one thing that I was pleased with was the response. Um, they could have curled up and died, but they came back. Um, James Hayter actually took his goal really well later on. And then when you, when you see the annuals of the game out and there was nothing really in it after that, if you'd have come away with a, a victory or a 2-2 two, two, two draw, you'd have been happy with a promotion t a chasing team. But for where we are in the league, that's what you get. And we deserve to be where we are. And we've just got to take it on the chin. The, the support, you know, the, was magnificent. They came up here in droves again. There was at least a couple of, uh, I'm not sure if it's a couple, but there was coaches that we saw that come up, minibuses. So the supporters are right behind us. They, the players felt that. They showed our supporters the fight and the determination. But bits of quality and individual mistakes and errors have cost us today and um, you know it's a bit of pill to swallow I'm really hurting inside as I have been for the whole of the last two years every time you get a defeat but they show today that they are trying and um, and they played with you know they played with a good intensity and they, and they went out there to try and win the game today but when you're not quite good enough with the key incidents that's what happens is it almost more frustrating because of that that you've come out here you've played so well against a team that's going well and, and a mad five minutes has effectively cost you the game yeah I mean that's the work that we're doing you can see the organisation has set up um, how strong we was from the first half in real difficult tricky conditions but that's the way it is at the moment and that's been the pattern of, of us conceding first and we keep saying about the strikers but today you know with, with, with the penalty and with Hayter's second goal we should have won that <coughs> game today I mean, I know they had a few chances, but you come to Rochdale, your goalkeeper's got to make saves. I don't care. They're, they're one of the highest scorers in the league, aren't they? So for us, it's, it's disappointing. We dust ourselves down. As you can see out there now on the pitch, they're all chatting and they're trying to stick together. We'll stick together. We've got a home game that's coming up next week now, and we've got to make sure that we try and put in a similar kind of performance without the mistakes. Mm -hmm. and, and is it very much focusing game by game at the moment, not worrying about the position in the table or, or when and if the other relegation comes? Yeah, well, I spoke, I spoke after the, Coven, uh, the Colchester game and people were saying, do you think you can still do it? And you can't look too far ahead because if we'd have got a result today, I don't know what, how the other results have gone, but you know, even us, a draw is not good enough. Uh, we needed to come here today and try and get a win. We did that. We tried to entertain the supporters and I felt that we'd done that as well. Um, of course, they're going to be disappointed because we've been beaten and the manner of the goals. But, you know, we'll stay strong. And the thing that we're looking for now is to 
is to make sure that we're as competitive as we can be. And today, I definitely thought we was competitive. Yeah, and, and that's a big thing, isn't it? Given the situation you're in, it wouldn't be unheard of for players to throw in the towel, but it seems like they've still got that belief and they want to go out there and perform. Yeah, I mean, listen, you can see they're definitely not thrown in the towel with the level of um, effort that they gave. But as I said before, you can't legislate and the work that we've done all week you can't legislate for moments of madness and, and that's what's cost us today really poor bits of defending in difficult circumstances and you know for us to to pick up that pride and keep going we can't make them sort of mistakes